hello and welcome back in this tutorial we are going to get message entity and their migration so let's get started first of all let's open explorer and open solution explorer let's collapse this let's collapse this one and inside api inside model let's create message class let's search for class and message and inside message let's say prop integer type id and prop tab string which can string sender id prop tab string and receiver id and another property string string type content and another property name let's say date time we can store here created date and another property of bool let's say is read and let's add here public app user sender get set let's type prop and tab let's add here app user let's say receiver these two are navigation properties and this id is our primary key in our message table now let's add migration let's open terminal by pressing ctrl backtick and go to api here dot net ef migrations add message table message table press enter so let's open explorer and here we can see message table migration so we can see here our empty migration let's undo our migration dot net ef migrations remove so this command remove recently created migration press enter look our migration is removed so let's go to app db context and here let's add db set prop db set of type message and let's say messages let's close it and let's let's clear terminal by by pressing ctrl l and let's read on our migration dot net ef migrations it message table okay let's see we have message table migration created we can see our table name messages id which is uh, auto increment primary key and sender id type text receiver id which type is text which can be nullable true and created date nullable false is read of type boolean nullable false and we can see our constraint receiver id and sender id let's close it and let's update our database dot net ef database update okay our database is updated let's open database let's press ctrl shift p and open database let's select chat db and here we can see let's collapse this one and here we can see our table messages expand this one we can see integer sender receiver content created date and is read here so we have successfully added messages table and migration